So what is the meaning of the word Rabb? So the first one, Qaribun, like near, Muhitun, like all encompassing. The Muhid, the all encompassing, Malik, the king or the owner. Malik, Malik means owner. Malikun wa mudabbir. Wa mudabbir. You can say mudabbir is the one who, like he arranges everything. The one who arranges your affairs, right? In charge of your affairs and he arranges your affairs for you. That is the Rabb. Right? So, Qaribun, Muhidun, Malikun, wa mudabbir. Right? Mudabbir, uh, better word, uh, the planner. The one who plans things out, the one who organizes things. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Murabbin. Right? Nurturer, the one who nurtures us. What is the meaning of nurture? The one who is with us every step of the way. And when you nurture someone, right, when you nurture a plant, for example, you're nurturing that from the seed, right, that you prepare the soil, you prepare the temperature, everything that it needs, you are there to provide for it so that it will grow into a healthy, uh, the healthy plant. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is our nurturer. And right, from the very beginning to the very end, subhanahu wa ta'ala, nurturer of our physical bodies and nurturer of our souls, nurturer of our entire existence. Right, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the word Rabb, it actually incites a very strong uh, impression right, in, the, uh, in the believer when it comes to the word Rabb. Right, subhanahu so all the prophets, they go, Ya Rabb, Ya Rabb. Right, they use that word. So it's a very deep <laughs> uh, impact right, on the human being with regards to his Lord. Which is why the opposite of Rob, right, we say Abd. Right, Abd is slave. Right, the opposite of Rob, we are the slaves. Right, so the slave right, is the one who is in need of his master to be near him. Right, in need of his master or knowing of, of her. That she knows that he is, he is her owner. Right, and he is the one that she will go back to. Then without any doubts, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and he has everything planned for her. And to trust Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his uh, in his laws, in his plans, in his uh, decrees, subhanahu wa ta'ala.